Many therapists I talk to have a great capacity to develop rapport with young clients, who, in turn, value the connection and keep showing up. However, all too often, these clinicians report feeling stuck in the work. Whilst the relationship has been well established, transformative potential is limited and developmental momentum is stalling. My first book, Adolescent Psychotherapy, A Radical Relational Approach, presents a developmentally and phenomenologically attuned methodology, offering strategic guidance to clinicians from the assessment process right through to specific clinical presentations and case management issues. In this second book, I frame the experience of adolescing as a progression through increasingly sophisticated psychological, emotional, behavioural and interpersonal levels of functioning. Development of the self during adolescence typically happens in three stages. 1. Boundaries from childhood and the adult world are established behind which adolescents find ways to connect more deeply with peers whilst being motivated to do what they feel like doing. Self is experienced in relation to impulses. Adults and homework are annoying. Friends and gaming are cool. Peer acceptance equates to self-acceptance as the interpersonal landscape is radically transformed. 2. The deepening of internal experience takes place with a narcissistic quality of self-absorption emerging in order to facilitate a deeper knowledge of the self. Adolescents look inward in order to develop a stronger self-image, though without much psychological stability, it can feel like they are locked in a fairground hall of mirrors. Self, at this stage, is experienced with personal intensity and often with a good deal of insecurity and existential angst. 3. These prior stages of emerging selfhood set the scene for increasing self-assurance and life-space balance as adolescents begin to have a deeper sense of security in who they are. Their increased psychological anchoring and self-possession extend to interpersonal contact and future planning. Whilst full adulthood is still a long way off, they are moving in the right direction. At least, that is what we expect will happen. The adolescent journey is fraught with trauma, complexity and inadequate life space support for many. And so the developmental trajectory is not always sequential, nor does the experience of being a teenager unfold in coherent stages. Whilst each young person's life space is uniquely individual, over the years in my work as a psychotherapist, I have noted clusters of similar patterns, challenges and dilemmas which emerge for young people during the adolescing process. I refer to these clusters as configuration styles and have organised these into three principal configurations.